Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, don't forget to share your share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's in any way you can keep me going with fresh and inspired. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Determine the maximum positive live share and bending moment at C due to the series of three moving loads shown below. Assume no reversal of loads. So this is the situation, the series of three moving uh, concentrated loads will be positioned on the beam to cause maximum positive live shear at C and positive live bending moment at C. So the movement is from right to left and no reversal of load. So for change in shear, remember the general Criterion delta V is WH over L minus P1 plus P1H over L plus PD over L if there is an incoming load. So WH over L minus P1 plus P1H over L plus PD over L. So this is P1H over L not minus P1B over L because the distance between the loads is very less compared to a so h will be less than 10 for all cases so that's why we use this criterion not the other way so first is when the 125 kilonewton load is just to the right of c then if it's just to the right of C, there will be no minus P1 because P1 would be the 125 kilonewton load. It is not yet moving to the left. So it is still over C and just to the right. So this would be 0. That would be 0 also because P1 has not yet moved from point C, position C. And there is no incoming load because this is exactly 2 plus 3, 5. So there is no incoming load here. There is no load entering the span when, when the 125 kN load is over C. So this is also 0. So definitely WH over L will be positive and we will not evaluate that. It is obviously positive because this term is positive. Then when load 2, this load 2 is over C. So remember this is P1. So P1 has now moved to the left by 2 meters. So W would be all these loads here, 125 plus 100 plus 50, that's uh, 275 because they are on the span. P1 is 125, H is 2, and this term is 0. So let's evaluate. So W is 275, H is 2 over 15. Then minus 125 P1 and plus 125 times 2 over 15. And this is not included because there is no incoming load. So the sign of this value is negative. Therefore, the preceding position gives the maximum shear at C. What's the preceding position when load 1 was over C? So let's have the loading position for maximum shear at C. That should be the loading position for maximum shear at C. We can use the diagram influence line for shear at C and I will do that in this case. You can also solve for RA in that position then RA is just the maximum shear at C if you draw the free body diagram. So this is shear at C. So RA minus shear at C equals zero. So shear at C maximum equals RA. And that's uh, easier. But I'll solve, I'll draw the influence line and apply the influence line diagram. In the second part, I'll just draw free body diagram and use static. So this is negative A over L, negative 10 over 15. So that's why negative two thirds. And this is uh, one third. 5 over L, B over L, 5 over 15 is one third. So zero here. So remember that the question is maximum positive live shear. So we only use the positive value. Obviously, the negative value might be maximum in this case, 
but we follow the instruction that we only compute the maximum possible time share. So over 50, that's zero. So over 100, let's solve this. One third as to five is one over 15 equals ordinate here as to 3. So 3 over 15 is 0.2. Therefore, the ordinate under the 100 kilonewton load is 0.2. Therefore, the maximum positive line share at C is 125 times 1 third plus 100 times 0.2. Suppose we plus 50 times 0, but 50 times 0 is still 0. So 125 times 1 third plus 100 times 0.2. So the maximum positive live share at C is equal to 61.67 kilonewtons. Now for maximum moment at C, the criterion is W over L minus W1 over A delta M in general. So for point C, delta M sub C is W over L, W over 15 minus W1 over so that's the criterion W over 15 minus W1 over 10. So when load 1 is just to the right of C, then W would be 125 and 100 only because 50 kilonewton is just to the right of B. It is not yet uh, on the span. So W is 125 plus 100 over 15 minus W1 is 0 because there is no load yet entering the left segment of the beam. So minus 0 over 10. Take note that load 1 is still just to the right of C. So therefore that's positive. Now if load 1 is just to the left of C, then it is now part of W1, this 125 kN. And W will be when 125 is just to the left of C, 50 will be on B, just to the left also. So W would be this total load, 125 plus 100 plus 50, and W1 would be 125. So delta MC is 125 plus 100 plus 50 over 15 minus 125 over 10. And the sign is still positive, so it is still increasing. Then next we position load Two, this is load to 100 kilonewton just to the right of C. So still only 125 is on the left segment. So W1 is 125. W would still be the same and we compute the same value if load 2 is just to the right of C. We have to solve this same expression so it's still positive. Now for load 2 just to the left of C, when load 2, this 100 kilonewton is just to the left of C, then it is part of W1. So W would still be the same. Then W1 would be 125 plus 100 over 10. So let's evaluate that when load 2 is just to the left of C. When the 100 kilonewton load is just to the left of C. So minus quantity 125 plus 100 over 10. And this time, it is negative. So what was the preceding position? Load 2, this load 2 was just to the right of C or simply over C. So the position that will make moment at C maximum is when the 100 kilonewton load is over C. Because that's the position. So you may use the influence diagram. I will leave that to you. Remember, the ordinate at C is AB over L or 10 times 15, 10 times 5, 50 over 15. And that is 10 thirds. Then you compute the ordinates under the 125 and the 50 kN load by similar triangles. Then you can compute MC max 125 times ordinate plus 100 times 10 thirds plus 50 times its corresponding ordinate. But in this case, I will use the I will use tactics. I'll solve for R A. Then summation moment B equals zero. I can solve R A. Then we cut section C. Consider loads to the left. Then take moment sums about C. So the moment at C maximum is R A times ten. 
minus 125 times 2. That's uh, easier by statics. So I do that because I already solved using the Learn's line for maximum shear at C. So summation moment about B equals 0 are 8 times 15 equals 125 times 7. 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 100 times 5 then plus 50 times 2 so this is 2 meters so r sub a is equal to 295 over 3 kilonewtons so the maximum moment at c is r a 295 over 3 times 10 then minus 125 times 2 so mc max can now be computed equal to 733.3 kilonewton meters so I hope that you were able to follow the solution. This is the simplest one for this problem. We'll have uh, another example. Let's make it a little bit challenging.